This is nerve-wracking. I mean, there was clearly a liquor came through here, but it doesn't mean one or more of these assholes isn't going to get up the moment I find I come out of that fucking room shit. Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to the Halloween Crossroads channel. I am your host, the Scarecrow. Welcome back to our playthrough of the spooky Resident Evil 3 game. This is part 10, and we are going to get our faces smushed to oblivion. Okay, so... I gotta fix my stuff because I can't hit shit. Okay, there we go. Alright, what we got here? Of course, assault rifle kaka. Because he's got the crappy gun. He's got three heals, so that's better than nothing. Alright, let's do this. So we gotta find a vaccine for Jill. In the middle of a vaccine. Why does everybody keep saying. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. Yeah, fuck you. You're gonna murder him. I'll go on ahead. Yeah, that's probably smart. Why does everybody say vaccine? Vaccine's only good if you don't already have the virus. She has the virus. What you need is, you know, something to get rid of said virus. Oh, Jesus. Another first aid spray? What the hell am I walking into? I mean, I got... Damn it, man. Oh, okay. I thought they were gonna say, hey, you gotta find bolt cutters. You bastards. I already did that. Okay, that's the front door. What, we didn't bar the front door? You know they're gonna come kick it in. What's with all the duffel bags hanging around? Okay. Might as well go for the guy who's not who's standing up. Bang. Oh, you fucker. Really? Just lay down. Ah. Jesus Christ, fellas. No, no, I'm gonna make sure this time. time for this. Yeah, heard. Oh, fuck. Really, bitch? You have to be on your fucking way out, seriously. Oh, there was one over there. Alright, now he's dead. Uh, what about you? What are you gonna say? Oh, seriously? Hey! What the fuck? Really? What's with the lunging? You aren't even totally standing up yet, you cheating fuck. How the hell did I miss? Dude, this bullshit. Are you fucking dead? Jesus Christ. Is that a red or a blue? Well, no blues in this game, huh? Oh, jeez. Eh? Damn it, Jill, give me your lock picks. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial. The heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the front forefront of uh, the forefront of science. 
Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to give to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast <laughs> one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the U.S. and the world. Yeah, I guess guess where I'm going. Probably in there, but I need something for to unlock it. I see him. He's camouflaged in the shrubbery. Fuck. Oh, that's the one I just came out of. Really? Oh, you guys suck. Seriously? What happens if I pull the fire alarm? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Hey, English! What's up? Nice knowing you, English. Oh, this doesn't look Welcome sketchy. To the This doesn't look sketchy at all. Tape player? What the fuck I want that for? Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives won't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straitjackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. Didn't we already read this? The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. But I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through a through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? What's going off? Okay, Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? <laughs> what kind of sci-fi Bolsheviks am I dealing with here? Oh, sure. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's gonna do me a lot of good. Come on, hold still, damn it. Fucking Hey, what do you mean? It's going right through her. What the fuck? It went right through her bounced off the fucking floor. That guy's gonna break through shit. And I'm fucked. Hope there's bullets in here because I'm gonna need them.
Fuck me. Hey, what does that do? Really? And I'm already fucking down again? What the fuck? That should have gone right through her goddamn forehead. Oh yeah, and there's the assault rifle bullets, you fucking douchebags. Right, what the fuck else is in here? We counting that room right there? Yeah, this isn't gonna suck at all. I get Carlos with two bullets. Why do you give the chicks all the good weapons? Uh. Only open from the other side, eh? The old closed on this side. Oh, fuck you, really? Oh, his head's half gone. That's cool. Question is, what threw him over the side? Because I don't think he did it himself. Jesus, how big is this fucking place? I'm already fucking lost. Yeah, whoop de doo Might as well just fucking throw those right in the trash. Handgun bullet. Ah, shit. Seriously, this place is ginormous. Yeah, whoop de fucking do Doesn't change the fact that I got shit to do. Oh my god! I'm never getting out of here. What's that way? More hospital. Okay, fuck you. I just poked this guy in the bum. I probably should have left him alone, but I didn't, so there's that. Dead ends, dead ends. I like dead ends, as, I, as I've said many times before. I like dead ends. There we go. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Why the fuck is it so difficult to open a fucking door in this game? I mean, and still, and what is this now? One bite and I'm done. Yeah, don't even bother with that. That fucking thing's worthless. That shoulder fucking throw shit. Alright, you guess to the record room. We like dead ends, right? And by dead ends, I mean, you know, there's no more tunnel, not there's a bunch of dead people. Because fuck all of those guys. Nurses General, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, 
muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got no. We've got to contain the chaos. Oh, you idiot! The fucking records room. That's where they keep a record of all the record stuffs. And where you record shit. As in records. What oh, we got here? Assault rifle bullets. Thank you very much. Gonna need that shit. Where I'm going? Straight to hell. Do not pass go, do not collect any money whatsoever. Oh, Jesus. Really? I don't need any more of that shit. I have no fucking ammo. Scrapes on the floor and walls. Well, good news is, these motherfuckers are probably all dead. Nurse's Journal, September 29th. We tried. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection, infection faster than we can read them, uh, reach them. Sounds familiar. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live! 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging, and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. <laughs> oh boy. Dr. Young Ariana Miranda Dakota. Oh, she's listening. I thought she was saying her name. I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help me. Seriously? Oh, don't run. Fuck. Um, oh, is that stuff supposed to be for her? It's not for Carlos, so he's not going to get anything to unlock that. It's when Jill is better. Memos for administration. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstance. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. Last person to have it may, must have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Till it's recovered, we will keep spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration by the end of your shift to borrow it. Oh, fuck. Where the hell is it supposed to be? Did I pass it? What is that? Simple lock. No shit. I'm not looking for the simple lock. I need the fucking key. Well, fuck you then. Okay, we came from the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Okay, not this way. Are you sure? I think we can squeeze through there. The nurse's station in the sick room? Yeah, I don't want to go in there. And what else we got? The linen room? in the treatment room. Oh, all of these rooms suck. Oh good, I wonder what crank came through that wall. Oh, why'd you do that? I knew I didn't want to do that. Already sounds like there's something in here that shouldn't be in here. Okay, I'll take that. What is this? Key. I'll wait on that. Oh, okay. There's the way out. What's that? Oh, 
Oh, that's the other side. I can't get over there yet. The key! Well, ghouls and goblins, that's all the time I have for now. Because I'm due back out in my field. I don't want to get lost in this hospital anymore. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and click the little bell. And you'll be notified when we come back to get the hell out of this godforsaken hospital. But until then, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>